Good morning, everyone. As always, place your cross on first. No matter what's going on in your life. You know, if you live for Christ, live for Christ. Because that's what it's all about, really. The whole word of God is about Christ. If you ain't trying to lead people to Christ. What are you trying to do? I don't, I'm trying to figure that out myself. If that ain't what your goal is, to lead people to salvation, why even spread the word if you ain't trying to lead people to Christ? If it ain't about Christ. That's what it's all about. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Today I'm going to read from Galatians chapter 5, people. I went through these scriptures this morning, figured out what God want me to read. It's hard sometimes because you don't know if you read what God wants or what you want. You know, but just keep the faith. Galatians chapter 5. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I, Paul, say to you, that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is a debtor to the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law. What? Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are falling from grace. Let's say this again in slow motion. Christ has become of no effect unto you, whosoever you are justified by the law. You are falling from grace. I didn't say it. The word said it. For we through the spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith work, which worketh by love. You did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? That persuasion cometh not of him that called of you. A little leaven leavened the whole lump. I have come to this in you through the Lord. That you would be none other wise minded, but he that trouble of you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. And now, brother, if ye preach circumcision, why do I get suffer persecution? Then it's the offense, offense of the cross ceased. I would they were even cut off which trouble you. For, brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion of the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the laws fulfilled in one word, even in this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one with another. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one and the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, Meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be envious of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. Let's go back and read something again. Galatians chapter 5. Christ is become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law. That's what a lot of people are trying to seek justification through the law. That's what Christ came. We couldn't even, they couldn't do it then. What they make you think you can do it now? If they couldn't do it. They go to Colossians. Chapter 2, 
firewood that you know what great conflict I have for you and for them at Alos Deldosia, as for many as have not seen my flesh and the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and as all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hid all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joining and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus and the Lord, so walk you in him, rooted up and built in him, established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding there with thanksgiving. But beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the godly, Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him. You are complete to who? You complete to who? Christ, which is the head of the principality and power, in whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made with not with hands, and putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, while so you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who have raised him from the dead. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, Biting at the hard handwriting of ordinances. Let's read that again. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross, and has spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in, in it. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or drink or in respect of a holy day or of the new moon. Or of the Sabbath day, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worship of angels, intruding into those things which he have not seen, vainly puffed up by his flesh and mind, and not holding a head from which are the body by joints and bands having nourishment to get ministered, and knit together increases with the increase of God. Wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why as though living in world are you subject to ordinances? Touch not. Taste not, handle not, which are all to perish with the using after commandments and doctrines of men, which things have indeed a show of wisdom and well will worship and the humility and neglect of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. So they have a show, a show. What that mean? If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth in the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on earth. For you are dead and your life is here with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Mortify then your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. But which things safe the wrath of God come on the children of disobedience. And in which you also walk some time when you lived in them. But now you also put off these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds, and put on a new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, skittin, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. But put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and meekness, Long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do you. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness, love. All and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of who? The Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. So why do you do this? Do you do it to bring people to God? I, 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 I put this question up there yesterday. What's your agenda? It was a simple question if you read scripture. <laughs> to lead people to law, abundance? <laughs> or to lead people to Christ and freedom? Do you get it? You are made free through Christ? Mm. Now, there's nothing wrong with teaching the law. Teaching God's statutes and 
and commands. You need to know these things. They are important. But the thing is, teaching them does not deliver people from them. Who delivers you from the burden of the law? Jesus Christ. He died for our sins because nobody could fulfill the law. So if you're trying to justify yourself by the law and not through Christ, it's vain. It's vain, people. It's vain. You better well get ready to use the... If I was reading the, the New Living Translation, he said, if that's what you want to do through circumcision, you might well cut your whole penis off. I, I didn't say it. He said, the New Living Translation in that way, like you might well just cut your whole member off. <laughs> but just think about it, people, what, what I'm trying to tell you, what God has freed you from. He said, through the Spirit, which is God, you won't fulfill the works of the, the law. He's going to help you with your altar infirmities. Because we couldn't do it alone. We couldn't do it with the law of law. We had to have a mediator. We had to have Christ to come in and help us. The Holy Spirit to help us fulfill His will. So why do you do this again? For Christ's sake. To lead people to Christ. So leading people to the law is not going to save them. But leading people to Christ will. Do you understand? Yes, it's good to educate people on the law. I'm going to say that again. It's good. But you got to understand what Christ abolished. What he said, why, why subject yourself to human regulations? Touch not, handle not. Well, all of them to disappear after the using. They're gone. Hmm. Why do you smoke, Houston? Because it can't tarnish my soul. It can't. Nothing that goes in my body can tarnish my soul. And he give you characteristics. Now, it's like, that's like, it's like, oh, uh, let's say you eat something that's called fornication. It's, this is what make you fornicate. It ain't a food or anything alive that can make you do something. Mm -hmm. There's not nothing in this world. I know what, what you think. Well, drugs make people steal. No, nah, people make people steal. Sin make people steal. That's their sin nature. Christ can stop that. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Let me pause and I will continue.